Hey, how's it going? It's Amanda. Today, we're going to be looking at two small EDC pouches from Alpaca. And if you're like me and you can't decide which one is right for you, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've learned after having both options. I tend to be an all black everything, but Alpaca did send me these out and they have chosen the colors for me. I have the Mulberry Zip Clutch. It comes in at $42. And then I have the pink version of the Hub Pouch and it comes in at $35. As you can see, there's so many different colors you can choose from. Some of the hub pouch colors are sold out, but you can be notified when they come back and stop. Okay, clearly there are some major differences. This one has a clutch strap on it and it has a swivel and it is removable. So you can take this off. You don't have to use it, but to me, it seems much more like it is a take with you, carry it on you in your hand kind of thing. This hub pouch has a clamshell design. You can open all the way up and boy, is it chunky whenever you get it loaded up. But given that the clutch has the aqua guard zippers to me that is meant to be exposed more and in the elements more so than the hub pouch which you would probably have in your bag or in your vehicle maybe even in your pocket depending on what you have it loaded up with um, because it just seems like that's more of a tuck away thing because of its size and kind of how they've made it material wise their choices seem to kind of dictate what they think you're going to do with it and i think they're correct so let's move on from here the next thing we're going to look at is what you can actually carry in these. So here I have an Olai I3T, I believe is the model number. Um, if I put a Lamy, Lamy, however you want to call it, Safari pin in there, this is a full size pin and it fits with no problem because of the length. Now they do say your phone will fit in here. Um, I can fit a ride in the rain notepad in there. I can fit a field notes in here, but I cannot fit my phone in here, especially with the case. I have an iPhone 50 Pro Max. You can see this case here from Peak Design will fit in there. It hangs over the top um, once the phone is actually in there. The whole thing is just too bulky. To me, it does not fit an iPhone 15 Pro Max whatsoever. I did try it with my Leatherman Skeletals and it does fit in here, but things start to get kind of wonky whenever you put larger um, multi-tools or even knives in here. Same goes with anything that you stuff in here. So if I have my AirPods in the center of this, um, on the front, I have a Lamy Safari pen and a Fisher Space pen. Neither are very thick or big. On the back, the field notes will not fit without distorting this. So I can bend it back out and take the field notes out and carry my AirPods. But it does definitely change uh, the setup of what you can put in there based on the restrictions of the size. So in conclusion for this, if you want to carry an ultralight setup with some of your basics, a pen, a flashlight, some cards, cash, if you have a smaller iPhone, you can definitely put that in the back, depending on what you have and how you set it all up. This would be a great everyday carry for the minimalist, um, just run and gun kind of setup. Okay, let's move over to the hub pouch. This works with our hub system. This is an X-Pack material and it has YKK zippers, but it does not have the AquaGuard zippers. It still has the same zipper pulls and everything works really smoothly there. So looking inside here, you kind of have some little pouches and some little, or I guess, pockets, uh, elastic bands, and then in the back, there's another pocket. Now, it's really hard to see when it's loaded up, and I'm going to blast a bunch of light in here to really show you. So on the left side, you can see there is a divider in the very back section. There are two elastics, and over on the right side, sorry, I had to play this in slow motion to spit it all out. We have a larger spot where something like cards can fit in and then three narrower sections of the elastics. So how you load this up will be dependent on that. They're not the same um, on each side. So something like a Fisher Space pin will definitely fit in length. But if you try to fit something in there like a full length pin, it is a no go. So that's just one thing to consider here. So some items that'll fit on the right hand side are something like your small cables, your pins. I have a Zippo in there. My AirPods can fit back in there depending on what else I have. Something like a right in the rain won't fit. Your field notes is definitely larger than the whole thing. I think they have mini ver versions of these, but I don't have one to check that for you. And then over on the left side, um, my Leatherman Skeletals will fit. I have a Gerber Pry here. I can't remember the exact name. I'll try to link it down in the description along with everything else. Um, it has scissors, a pry bar, knife, can't remember what else, file maybe, um, and a little exacto knife. So those will fit your medium, medium-ish larger on the left-hand side, but your right-hand side, you'd probably fit your smaller items over here based on how that goes. And I'm just going to show you quickly how this will fit with all of these in here with no problem. Well guys, if this was helpful, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.